The James Webb Space Telescope has recently transmitted an astonishing message that has left NASA scientists astounded. This premier optical telescope in space has been scrutinizing various regions of our immense universe for an extended period, revealing numerous peculiarities. However, the latest image it has delivered has caused a stir in the scientific and astronomical communities. What extraordinary image has the James Webb Telescope captured? Could it have photographed an alien spacecraft in the most distant corners of space? Join us as we delve into the surprising new images that the James Webb Telescope has revealed, images unlike any we have ever seen before. If you're eager to remain fully updated about cosmic news and its ecological aspects, subscribe to our channel, like this video, and activate notifications. NASA's $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope was launched from the European spaceport in French Guiana. Upon reaching its new grand location, this infrared observatory provided spectacular views of the cosmos to analysts and stargazers. As the most advanced space telescope to date, analysts were thrilled to see the first scientific images captured by the telescope. What they observed nearly left them stunned. When the James Webb focused its instruments on the well-known pillars of creation, it captured the famous dust clouds in remarkable detail. These pillars are situated in the constellation Serpens, about 7,000 light-years from Earth. The pillars of creation are part of the Eagle Nebula, huge clouds of gas and dust first imaged by the Hubble Space Telescope in 1995. Since then, the striking glow of the pillars has been unveiled. The new photograph taken by the James Webb Space Telescope exposes the pillars of creation in even finer detail. Some stars visible in the new image were not seen in the previous Hubble image, with some having formed just two or three years ago. This represents a major scientific advancement. The James Webb Space Telescope has also examined the so-called Pandora's Cluster in a breathtaking image named after Greek mythology. Pandora's Cluster is a region predicted by Albert Einstein in 1915. These new images astonish scientists as they reveal details previously unknown in this region of space. However, it is essential to note that this area of space has a formal designation known as AEL 2744, which is part of the Pandora Cluster. This cluster contains a combination of distinctive structures. What is so fascinating about this image is that it has been observed before, but only the central part of space was examined by the Hubble Space Telescope. This implies that various cosmic secrets remain to be uncovered in this intriguing region of space. Until the James Webb directed its powerful infrared instrument to the area to observe the Pandora Cluster, the observing team used the large telescope's near-infrared spectrograph and near-infrared camera as part of the deep observation program. Before the ionization era, images were captured and then combined into a panoramic view. This panoramic view revealed approximately 5,000 infrared light sources in the Pandora Cluster, which is about 3.5 billion light-years away. The image captured by the James Webb Telescope achieved an extraordinary harmony between depth and breadth, which could transform our understanding of cosmic evolution. A highlight of the image is a bright foreground star in the midway, whose remarkable diffraction pattern was created by the James Webb Space Telescope. Also visible are brilliant sources of white light surrounded by a hazy glow, corresponding to much more distant galaxies within the Pandora Cluster. Although human-made technology is crucial for observing this galaxy cluster, astronomers also relied on a natural phenomenon proposed by Albert Einstein in his theory of gravity known as general relativity, published in 1915. Additionally, captivating discoveries continue to excite scientists and space experts. The James Webb Telescope has captured peculiar cosmic phenomena that even experts cannot fully explain. One such mystery is the perplexing concentric rings found around a distant star, which still cannot be completely understood by space experts. The image was shared on Twitter by a citizen scientist, sparking a flurry of comments and debate among the online community. The picture showed a star called WR140 surrounded by regular wave-like circles that gradually faded. What was striking was that the circles were not perfectly round but had a somewhat square appearance. This immediately led to speculation about a potential extraterrestrial origin. 
However, some analysts argued that it was simply nature performing something that appeared extraordinary when viewed from a single perspective. Sometimes natural phenomena might seem spectacular from certain viewpoints but have straightforward explanations. Nevertheless, questions persist, why do they have that specific shape, and why are they so regular? These questions have troubled experts like Mark McCoffrian, an interdisciplinary researcher with the JWST Science Working Group and a science advisor to the European Space Agency, who called it surprising. In a Twitter thread, he explained that the sharp blue pattern is an artifact due to optical diffraction from the bright star WR140 in the image. Nonetheless, he noted that the red band is real and represents a series of shells around WR140 in space. Despite the fact that NASA is expected to provide an explanation soon, young stars generally tend to shine bright blue, while over time they take on a redder hue as they burn their fuel and cool. Cosmologists did not expect to see old red stars in the early universe, for which the James Webb Space Telescope was designed, nor did they anticipate seeing galaxies up to a billion times more massive than the Sun. These red spots revealed in the images captured by the James Webb Space Telescope appear to be many times more massive. According to Jan K., the most massive galaxies in our sample are estimated to have masses between two and four times less than that of the Milky Way. She said this discovery is astounding since galaxies as large as our own were found when the universe was only 3% of its current age. Leah also mentioned that before cosmologists start adjusting cosmological theories to explain how these galaxies form so quickly after the Big Bang, they will need to ensure that the peculiar red spots they are observing are not something else. Nonetheless, alternative explanations would also require entirely new ideas. For example, early stars in the universe could emit light in unusual ways due to a lack of heavy elements not included in our models. The images that revealed these mysterious galaxies were obtained by Webb's near-infrared camera as part of the Cosmic Evolution Early Release Science Program. The team plans to return soon to these galaxies and the SMAX 0723 cluster to obtain spectra of light from distant sources. The spectra decompose the observed light according to its composition into frequencies, thereby revealing the chemical and physical properties of its source. Notably, the spectra provide very accurate distances to these objects. The distance and nature of these objects are interconnected, and if we know the distance, we can pinpoint their characteristics. Leah states that just a few months after Webb's team released the initial observations, scientists are being forced to revise theories about the early universe. Observing the early universe for the first time led us to discover something so astounding that it poses problems for science overall, as it challenges the entire picture of early galaxy formation. Another astonishing image captured by the James Webb Space Telescope shows the ghost galaxy, which looks like a whirlpool spinning before our eyes. This new image, based on deep space data, highlights the dust lanes of the galaxy NGC 6208 or M74, also known as the perfect spiral due to its symmetry. The ghost galaxy is intriguing from a scientific perspective because of the intermediate mass black hole that scientists believe is at its center. Although the ghost galaxy has been imaged several times, including by space observatories like the Hubble Space Telescope and the Spitzer Space Telescope, Webb's images stand out due to the near-infrared light that revealed vast dust, combined with the power of its unique 18-segment hexagonal mirror. The James Webb Space Telescope, hailed as one of the most ambitious endeavors in space exploration, continues to astonish scientists with its exceptional capabilities and discoveries. Launched with a mission to uncover the deepest secrets of the universe, Webb has not disappointed in its initial observations. From capturing the intricate details of distant worlds to revealing previously hidden phenomena, Webb's contributions to space science are rewriting the textbooks of our understanding. One of the telescope's remarkable achievements is its ability to peer further into space than any other instrument before it. By harnessing its advanced infrared technology and utilizing a large 18-segment mirror, Webb has opened a new realm of exploration. Unlike its predecessor, the Hubble Space Telescope, which primarily operated in the visible and ultraviolet spectrum, 
Webb's infrared capabilities allow it to penetrate cosmic dust and observe celestial objects hidden from optical telescopes. This ability has proven crucial in its observations of the iconic pillars of creation within the Eagle Nebula. Webb's infrared gaze uncovered unprecedented details of these enormous columns of gas and dust, where new stars are born. The telescope's ability to see through the thick nebular material provided astronomers with clearer insights into the processes of stellar birth and evolution. Additionally, Webb's observations of galaxy clusters like A2744 and Pandora's cluster have shed new light on the large-scale structure of the universe. By capturing thousands of infrared sources within these clusters, Webb has enabled astronomers to study the formation and evolution of galaxies across cosmic time. The deep field image obtained by Webb not only expands our understanding of galaxy cluster dynamics but also challenges existing models of cosmic structure and evolution. One of the most intriguing discoveries made by Webb is the presence of ancient galaxies that defy conventional cosmological theories. These galaxies, observed when the universe was only a fraction of its current age, have masses that rival or exceed that of the Milky Way. Such findings raise fundamental questions about how galaxies assembled and grew in the early universe. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has rapidly become a centerpiece of astronomical research, significantly advancing our understanding of the cosmos. One of its most notable achievements is its ability to capture light from some of the earliest galaxies in the universe. This capability is rooted in Webb's advanced infrared technology, which allows it to observe celestial objects that are too faint or distant for other telescopes. Webb's observations have revealed new insights into the formation and evolution of these ancient galaxies, providing a deeper understanding of the early universe. Recent images from Webb have shown galaxies in various stages of formation and evolution. For instance, Webb has captured intricate details of early galaxy mergers, where two or more galaxies collide and interact. These mergers are critical events in the life cycle of galaxies, influencing their structure and star formation rates. The telescope's detailed observations of these processes are helping scientists piece together the history of galaxy formation, offering a glimpse into how galaxies like our own Milky Way may have evolved over billions of years. In addition to its examinations of far-off galaxies, Webb has also concentrated on nearby cosmic entities, such as star-forming regions within our own galaxy. The telescope's capability to penetrate thick interstellar dust has enabled astronomers to investigate the creation and evolution of stars with unparalleled clarity. For instance, Webb has delivered fresh perspectives on areas like the Orion Nebula, one of the nearest and most active star-forming locales to Earth. These studies are aiding scientists in grasping the intricate mechanisms involved in star formation and planetary system creation. Another major research domain facilitated by Webb is the exploration of exoplanets. The telescope's infrared features are especially adept at analyzing the atmospheres of exoplanets, enabling scientists to identify and characterize their compositions. Webb has already commenced examining the atmospheres of several exoplanets, offering data on their temperature, atmospheric makeup, and even potential indicators of habitability. This data is vital for pinpointing planets that might support life and for understanding the conditions prevalent on distant worlds. Webb's contributions to planetary science extend beyond exoplanets. The telescope has also scrutinized our own solar system, including planets, moons, and other minor celestial bodies. For example, Webb has studied the ice giant Uranus, offering new insights into its atmospheric composition and climatic patterns. The telescope's observations of remote comets and asteroids are also aiding scientists in deciphering the early solar system's conditions and the formation of these small celestial entities. Additionally, Webb's observations have led to significant revelations about cosmic phenomena such as dark matter and dark energy. Although these enigmatic components of the universe remain elusive, Webb's detailed images of galaxy clusters and large-scale structures provide valuable data that can help scientists infer their properties. By examining how galaxies and clusters interact and evolve, Astronomers hope to gain a deeper understanding of the role dark matter and dark energy play in the universe's structure and expansion.
Webb's deep field observations are particularly notable. These observations involve scrutinizing a small, seemingly vacant patch of sky for extended periods, capturing faint and distant objects that are otherwise too dim to detect. Such observations have uncovered a wealth of information about the early universe, including the formation of the first galaxies and the development of cosmic structures. These deep field images are not only a testament to Webb's observational prowess but also a glimpse into the universe's past. The James Webb Space Telescope has also achieved significant progress in studying cosmic dust. Cosmic dust plays a crucial role in the formation of stars and planets, and understanding its properties is essential for comprehending various astrophysical processes. Webb's ability to observe dust with high resolution has yielded new insights into its composition and distribution, illuminating how it influences the formation of celestial objects. In terms of technological advancements, Webb marks a substantial leap forward from its predecessors. Its large segmented mirror enables it to collect more light and produce higher resolution images than any other telescope. Moreover, its sophisticated instruments, including the near infrared camera, NIRCAM, and the mid-infrared instrument, MIRI, are designed to operate in concert to cover a broad range of wavelengths, providing a comprehensive view of the universe. The telescope's mission is not only to observe but also to address some of the most fundamental questions in astronomy. For example, one of its primary objectives is to explore the origins of galaxies, stars, and planetary systems. By examining the universe in its formative stages, Webb aims to provide answers to questions about how the first stars and galaxies formed and evolved into the structures we see today. The James Webb Space Telescope has already made a profound impact on the field of astronomy, and its mission is anticipated to continue delivering groundbreaking discoveries for years to come. As scientists delve deeper into the data provided by Webb, they will uncover new facets of the universe, challenging existing theories and refining our understanding of cosmic processes. The telescope's contributions will undoubtedly shape the future of astronomical research and expand our knowledge of the universe in ways previously unimaginable.